A semiconductor topic is a very serious one because the whole industry is affected because of the big demand in consumer electronics and um, the faster return of the automotive sector um, in, in Corona, which, uh, which wasn't expected uh, so fast. And um, we, we have low capacities on, on semiconductors. So it's, it's a daily business and um, we um, are calibration um, our um, production but uh, we, we could be affected um, every day. So uh, we watch very deeply um, in the next days and months uh, what we can do. We have to uh, react um, on short term and uh, look for measures uh, on long term. Uh, but in terms of Porsche specifically, sir, as well, I, I, I want to know, has it affected uh, the actual sign up of orders from the clients or actually has it just affected your delivery? Because I think the form is very interesting because a lot of people I know who are trying to spend money at the moment, are trying to spend it on luxury goods such as Porsches as well. Has it aff affected the number of people actually uh, trying to buy the cars? Yeah, first of all, um, in the semiconductor um, topic, uh, we were able up to now um, not having been affected for, for um, good flexibility and um, prioritization. And uh, when, you, when you talk about um, the corona situation, uh, we have, um, in spite of corona and the production stop, um, a very um, strong, strong year in 2020, um, we were only um, 3% below the production um, and sales in um, 2019. And uh, today um, we are looking very positive to the year 21, but um, we have to watch um, very, very deeply what will um, happen um, in the next um, months uh, with the corona situation. But we are looking very positive because of our very strong um, product portfolio. Um, Oliver, let me jump in here. It's Annette in Frankfurt. Um, I would like to ask you about your updated plans when it comes to cost cutting. You're highly profitable. So why are you accelerating the cost cutting and how much do you want to cut costs now? Very high profitability for Porsche. It's very important to be able to invest strongly uh, in, in our future. Invest in technology, invest in electromobility, Best in uh, digitalization. Therefore, our strategic um, target is um, to maintain uh, profitability of 15%. Therefore, we introduced um, a couple of years ago um, an improve, um, um, result improvement program where we are looking for intelligent measures um, to force our um, financial stability. And, and therefore, I think uh, it, it was our idea to uh, build um, our transformation um, by our own strengths. Um, some commentators do see this acceleration in cost cutting also as a preparation for a potential listing of Porsche, which is currently speculated. Um, so what's your, what's your answer to those speculations on the market? Yeah, there were a lot of, uh, was a lot of attention in the last days, and uh, that comes from the very strong um, situation of Porsche, uh, from the technology, the technology story which is behind of, of Porsche, and uh, our very positive and future oriented product portfolio. But we, we didn't follow these uh, speculations, and at the end, uh, that, this lies um, in the responsibility of Volkswagen, uh, who owns 100% of Porsche. So for Porsche, it isn't a topic um, today. Oliver, as far as I can see, there have been regular reports uh, since VW bought Lamborghini, Bugatti, Bentley back in 1998 that the businesses, the various brands were going to be sold or going to be spun off. I think we're still waiting for some concrete announcement from you and from the company. Can you tell us any more about what your intentions are with these key sports brands and perhaps uh, what are you going to do with Ducati and some of the other names in your portfolio? Um, we think about um, how to move the Volkswagen Group to, to the future. And uh, therefore, um, it's very important. Uh, which brands do we connect? Porsche uh, was responsible for 
um, 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 a recover plan for um, for Bentley, which works um, with a um, turnaround uh, very positive in the last years. And now we decided to position Bentley together with Audi as a premium luxury segment for future. I think uh, that makes a lot of sense for all the other brands. Um, we are we are still in discussions, and uh, we will take um, decisions. Uh, during the year, how to connect um, all these fantastic brands um, into the Volkswagen Group.